Are you looking for adventure when you travel? Then Western Australia is the place for you. In this video, we'll give you eight must-dos from Perth to Market River. Just 45 minutes south of Perth is Penguin Island. This nature reserve is home to Western Australia's largest colony of little penguins. There's also tons of other wildlife, including dolphins, sea lions, stingrays, pelicans, and much, much more. To get to the island, you take a five minute ferry ride or you can walk across the one kilometer tidal sandbar if you're feeling adventurous. But right there's that. like super sc scary sign yeah. that says you may encounter a shark or riptides or other currents and you may drown and die. So uh, it kind of like has put us off. I guess we'd do it if we didn't have the kids, but I'm not bringing my yeah. hell on that, that's for looks sure. Looks like fun though. It's about a kilometer though, hey? Once on the island, you can see the rescue penguins inside the showroom. Afterwards, you can explore the island in search of wild penguins. There are also many other birds on the island to see. Plus there is a great spot just to hang out on the beach and swim in the water, so bring your bathing suit. There are many other activities to do in this area, including swimming with dolphins, sea kayaking, and kiteboarding. Have you ever been in a cave before? Caving in Australia is a must do. There are several caves to choose from in the Margaret River area. Each cave offers a different experience. Niggly Cave offers fun for the whole family with slides and crawling through tunnels for kids of all ages. Plus you get to gaze and wonder at the calcite crystals decorations and touch and learn about them which is not allowed in the other caves. Jewel Cave is the biggest show cave with three massive chambers which contain many delicate helictites, cave coral, pendulites, large stalagmites and beautiful examples of flowstone. What did you find? Kryptonite. Kryptonite. Yeah, Stop Superman. You can also see the fossilized remains of extinct Tasmanian tigers. 62 meters deep beneath the earth is Lake Cave. Yeah, there's supposed to be a lake in there, so yeah. maybe we'll go for a dip. Do we bring our swimsuits? Yeah, who needs swimsuits yeah, anyway? Just go naked. All right, I like your attitude. To get access to this chamber, you have to climb down into a sunken forest surrounded by towering kauri trees. What awaits you is a tranquil lake with crystal formations that grow from the ceiling hovering just above the water. Make sure you don't mind getting a little wet, as this one is the most active dripping cave. These caves were all formed approximately one million years ago. When you're on a beach and look out into the ocean, do you think to yourself, it would be awesome if a whale swam by? Well, at Hamlin Bay, you don't get whales, but stingrays swim up to the beach and let you touch them. How cool is that? Did he touch you? They're really silky and they, soft. They come up to you like you're, uh, like you're their friend, yeah, or like a dog. Measuring up to two meters across, these friendly stingrays will make your day. You can also get in the water and snorkel with these amazing animals. There's no guarantee the stingrays will be there when you go, so plan on the possibility of going a couple of times. Next is an electric ATV tour in the Margaret River area. We're going quadding today at Eco Adventures in um, Margaret River in Australia. And we've never quadded before, so this is be interesting. These these bikes are retrofitted electric bikes too, so it's kind of cool. So. Less harmful to the environment yeah. and no emissions. These bikes are smooth, quiet, and totally emission-free. The one and a half hour tour educates you on the history of the region, and all the while you get to see spectacular scenery and have fun driving a quad. There are a few places in the world where the dolphins come up to the beach to see you. The Dolphin Discovery Center in Bunbury is one of these places. You get to wade into the oceans and the dolphins will swim by and look at you. So we've been out here for about an hour and they've just been hanging out with us. I think sometimes they only visit 10 minutes, so we've got an hour experience. It's a really amazing experience. The dolphins do come daily to this site, so it's really great. Well, this is pretty amazing. They're like jumping all fishing over. in front of us here. Like, <laughs> the guy's got an octopus in his mouth. Showing off. They are. Whoa. You can also book a tour where you get to go out into the harbor and swim with the wild dolphins as well. Take a refreshing dip in the Injured Up Natural Spa. It's a five minute hike from the car park, then you can just relax and enjoy lazing in the sun. 
or explore the rocks which surround and protect the inlet from crazy waves. Beautiful rock formations behind me and the waves come over top and crash through the rocks and they sit at the bottom of the springs. Just a short drive from the town of yelling up, you'll find this breathtaking natural spot. Next is the wildlife park in Bunbury. This park gives you a personal interaction with many different species of animals. You can feed most of the animals in the park, which can make for such a fun experience. This is my buddy. That one's pooping. <laughs> the park consists of native and exotic birds, marsupials, reptiles, amphibians, and mammals. This is a great time for the whole family. A great place to stay is Bustleton. This quaint seaside town has a famous jetty with a train on it which you can take to the end to see an underwater observatory. It's a great staging place to do all the previous activities we talked in this video. There's lots of shops, pubs, restaurants, and nearby wineries you can chill at after your many day trips. What flavor is it? Pistachio. That's it? And cookies. You good? Is it the world's best ice cream? It's pretty good. Pretty good? Better than Italy? It's really good, actually. Better than Thailand? It's, it's up there. Actually, up there? it's really good. Western Australia is a big place with tons to do. Watch our other videos, Things to Do in Perth, and Perth to Monkey Maya for more great tips. We would love to hear from you and your adventure, so please join our Facebook group to connect with us. The link is in the description. And oh yeah, if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button for more fun videos.